world's oldest cities. Delhi is almost as old as time itself, and this is its very center. Here in the streets of Changni Chowk, history has been made. Queens, kings, commoners, peasants, merchants, they've all shopped here. And the extraordinary thing is that so many of these shops are pretty much exactly as they were centuries ago. When you think of fragrance and bespoke fragrances, and about the last place you think of are the streets of Old Delhi. But they've been making perfume here for centuries. The shop I'm going to has been here since 1816. It's been run by one family in all those years. India has always been famous for perfume. These days, however, it's mixed up with the West Asian tradition of Ittar. The shop I'm going to is different because it understands fresh fragrances and the art of Western blending to create bespoke perfumes. Mukul Gandhi, its owner, has fragrance in his blood. We are in the seventh generation doing the same business, the same place. Seventh generation? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So are you going to let me try one of these? Sure, sir. Why not? My idea is to get Mr. Gandhi to use his amazing fragrance essences to create a perfume specially for me. A bespoke fragrance that's Indian and international at the same time. It's much subtler than commercial scent. It's much subtle, sir. And this is what I'm showing you is the fragrance of the first rains after the summers. It's also called Gili Mitti. This is again a very good summer perfume. It's called Khas. In English, you call it Vetiva. This is actually a very characteristically Indian food kind of smell, isn't it? What else would you like to see, sir? Let's take, say, vetiver because I really loved your vetiver. So if we can use that as the base, and then you can lighten it and, you know, somehow subtly modify it for me. What I try to show you is something, a mixture of vetiver with kevda. You don't think we're going to go with two foods, uh, khas and kevda? No, no. At times, it becomes very nice. Okay, we'll give it a shot. This is actually how all fragrances are made. The perfumers blend various essences to arrive at a sort of cocktail that is right for the customer. But while commercial fragrances are meant to appeal to the largest number, this fragrance is blended specially for me. It's a bespoke fragrance and I can help create it. So a slightly woody note, something at the base, there are too many top and middle sweet notes. Sure. As you can tell, I'm quite clear about what I want. You know, I fancy myself as a fragrance junkie, so a bespoke fragrance has to be absolutely right. Much better. You like it. You're getting that woody note. You know, this is perfect, but I still think it needs maybe a dash of some kind of citrus smell. Sure. Something to give it a sort of masculine top note. You can almost smell the sort of fresh fragrance from this distance. So there it is, my own perfume, my own smell, with high quality ingredients and a personal blend. This is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Cuba.com